you know it's like it's a bit mess but it's a bit to hang out with you know a bit of dos no one ever actually bothers you there you know also you can just, there's like a few places you can just drop off your boards and stuff so yeah it's a bit of a laugh there we went down to have a look at this place it was pretty scruffy and dangerous people had obviously lit fires there there were empty spray cans, beer cans, and syringes on the ground. It was not a nice place to be. Yeah, as well, since there's no one there, nothing watching us, it's like off as like, you get spray can out and stuff like that, you know, a bit of graffiti all over the place. The graffiti was amazing. I was surprised how artistic and creative it was. It actually improves the environment, turning a derelict site into an open air art gallery. I mean, I couldn't understand if like, we were doing like, antisocial things like screaming and shouting at 2 o'clock in the morning, but normally it's not like that. They think we're bad because we dress like this and we're out so late. I think it can be an ongoing problem. Once you've got the conflict, uh, then it's a bit like bouncing a ball off each other. What you've got to find is a, a, a level of communication both ways. Everyone's just sitting like saying to them like caught chaps are like dickheads and that to them that's who they think we are but we're just like normal people really just like we like these kind of clothes how you dress is your decision and not anyone else's decision and she just view you as a neutral person no matter